It's Friday Night Writes with the Stop Writing Alone community. I'm Nicole Rivera, and I'm here every single week sharing prompts, exercises, and writing prompt parties for you to be inspired for the whole weekend through. Come on in, bring your notebook, your laptop, or whatever it is you want to write with, because as soon as we get started, you'll be inspired to start scribbling away your weekend. Thanks for coming, and enjoy your Friday Night Writes. Hey everybody, it is me, Nicole Rivera from the Stop Writing Alone podcast and here on the MV Rivera YouTube channel to share with you writing prompts, writing exercises, something to get you writing for this entire weekend long. It's Friday Night Writes and this week I want to give you a Halloween inspired writing prompt. So we are thinking about Halloween coming up this Sunday and some people I'm sure have already started celebrating uh, even though it's Friday, maybe you've got a Halloween party, or maybe you just want to write something spooky. So Storymatic is one of my favorite writing prompt tools. And if you've been around long enough, you know that already. Um, I have the classic game. I have the Colonial Williamsburg game. And I even have the Storymatic kids game. I want to use this as my baseline for our prompt today. And in Storymatic, there are so many different ways you can play, but all the different Storymatic games have the deck of cards split into two different types of cards. You can kind of see the colors here, but they're in this box there are yellow cards and there are blue cards. The yellow cards give us um, information about a character that we would use in story and the blue cards give us something that thrust us into story. But the great thing that um, Brian Mooney, who created Storymatic, um, did. One of the great things that he did is in the little booklet of instructions, he also gave us varying ways to use the cards. And one of the um, games that he suggests in Storymatic Classic is something called XYZ, where we use the statement X is in conflict with Y over Z. And we pick two character cards to be our X and Y, and we pick uh, one of the story cards to be our Z. So what I was thinking, being that it's Halloween, is taking that X, Y, Z and putting a little twist on it and using the kids' cards for some extra weird inspiration because the kids' cards have things like mermaids and dinosaurs and all other fun kid-inspired things to take the X, Y, Z, and instead of say X is in conflict with Y over Z, I want to say that X is haunting Y because of Z. So your X is going to have to be some sort of ghost that is haunting your Y, and the reason for it will be your Z. So here we go. The X and Y are going to come out of the yellow. I'm going to pick two yellow cards for us. And we're going to get X is haunting Y because of Z. So a person who stands up to a bully is haunting a ventriloquist because of because it won't turn off. I should just say because. A person who stands up to a bully is haunting a ventriloquist because it won't turn off. I'm actually gonna give you one more. I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z one more time because I got a whole box of cards. Why do I always only give you one? A historian is haunting Someone with a key nobody else has because, drum roll, pickle factory. <laughs> That's it. I've given you two separate prompts for haunting. A historian is haunting someone with a key that nobody else has because of a pickle factory or a person who stands up to a bully is haunting a ventriloquist 
because it won't turn off. <laughs> Those are your two ghost story inspirations. I want you to think about how you can transform any of the prompt tools you have at home into some spooky stories or any other genre. What are the little twists and turns that you can do using the stuff that you've always had around to inspire you in new directed ways. Anytime we put a new limitation on our writing prompts or writing exercises, it is in and of itself a brand new exercise. So um, good luck with this. Happy Halloween and happy spooky writing. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your writer friends. And if you need anything else from Stop Writing Alone, head to stopwritingalone.com.